Recording. Hello. Technically, it would be good morning. Um, I wanted to share something with you guys. And um, there's a reason I wanted to share it. Well, this morning I went for a run early, early for me. It was like seven or eight in the morning. And um, there were some things that I was thinking about on my run. And I wanted to share them with you. And um, some experiences related to that as well. So there, there are three things that you're gonna take from this video, or at least that I hope that you take from this video. And I listed them here so I remember them myself. The first thing I want you to take away um, is to always take away or look for the positive things, even in situations in your life that seem horrible, hard, or frustrating. Be open to new knowledge that it brings. I'm gonna give you examples of each. Number two, support is important. Keep positive, motivating people around you. You know, if you don't have positive people around you, things are going to be more difficult. And I'll give you examples. And then number three, health is very important. Use your experiences in your life to bring you closer to health in, in different ways, mentally, physically, and emotionally. You know, we forget that there are other variations of health. We have, you know, physical health, of course. We want to eat better. We want to be active. But there is also mental health and emotional health. And that... That is um, a little, obviously a little uh, different process to come about. So what do I mean by take away the positive things, right? So look for positive, in, even in things that seem horrible. So life is going to bring you ups and downs, no matter what you do. You can't avoid that. You're going to have highs and lows. My dad used to call it, you know, as a roller coaster of life. You go up and you come down. But if you go down, then the only place to go is up. If you do go up, hopefully you stay there, but there's a possibility of maybe having some hills or, you know, uh, trows, trows, you know what I mean, indents <laughs> in, your, in your life. So I'm gonna give you a couple of basic kind of examples and then maybe more serious examples. And I can only tell you some of my experiences and some of the experiences of people that I know you can maybe take it into your own life hopefully so okay so i'm going to give you my first example my first example is i uh, i started this is a basic like you know non-serious example but i started my doctoral degree and i have to do um papers a lot of papers now if you guys are familiar with me i have a very technical background engineering and math i would prefer to do math problems than write a paper okay unlike many people I'm sure but um I you know I have to write a bunch of papers it's all writing so I have to go back into my research and you know organizing a paper and all that kind of stuff and for me initially it was quite frustrating but what I did was I said well all right rather than getting frustrated I'm going to I'm going to change my uh, perspective and say Instead of making this difficult, instead of saying it's frustrating, I'm going to say I'm going to learn something new from this. This is going to bring me new knowledge, a brand new skill. And that's what it is. It's going to open a different, it's going to open a different part of my brain because obviously I have to think differently than I do when I'm doing technical things, math and, and, and engineering and things like that. I have to change my thought process when I'm writing a paper um, and doing research and, and peer reviews and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to give me new knowledge and it's going to give me a new skill that I can use for other things. So instead of looking at it as frustrating, I now look at it as a positive thing because it's gonna open up something new in my life and, and open up a new skill that I will have, which is always a good thing. We always want to learn something new. Look at what, what knowledge, it, it, you know, what is the knowledge that you are, um, learning from your experience what is the new information that you, maybe you didn't know before there's always something to learn from every experience um you know i have uh someone that i know and they they had some health uh some health issues they had some some anxiety issues that led to some health issues but <clears throat> i know that that obviously is a more serious situation and you know it could be frustrating but the positive part of that is that it led that individual into more fitness. So they're now looking into um, 
how to relieve that anxiety, how to, to relieve that stress level. And, you know, now that person is looking into different ways of making themselves healthier physically, which actually, you know, like for me, running, running is a release. It's a release of stress. It's a relief, relief, uh, a release of frustration and things like that. You need something that allows you to have a release of stress and anxiety that is healthy, right? A healthy option. And so for, for this person, they're starting to look into fitness, you know, um, different types of, you know, fitness things, which is, which is a positive thing. And they're actually feeling better which is going to then add to or help improve the anxiety, which is mental health and even emotional health too. So, the, you know, you try to look at the positive in anything. Now, this was a battle for me and, you know, a lot of you that watch my channel or know me, you know, and you know that my father passed away in 2020 and I, I was extremely close to my dad. I even have a playlist for him. He, he was my mentor, my teacher. He was the smartest person that I ever knew um, to this day, right? Or ever will know. <laughs> um, he did everything. So losing him was, was extremely difficult for me. And this is an example of trying to change perspective, even in things like death, um, which we all go through. And there's always a battle, you know, um, with that. You know, you can go into a dark place. So... For me, what I needed to do, because I obviously needed to continue to um, take care of my children and do other things, um, I couldn't go into a dark place. I couldn't go into that area. So what I did was I converted the sadness into not losing him, right? It's not losing him. I'm gaining him in another, in another way, in another dimension. So rather than saying I, I'm at a loss, I'm saying I'm at a gain. So my gain is now he's everywhere. I could talk to him whenever I want. He's my guardian angel on my shoulder. So he can help me more than he ever could in his physical state. And he is always with me. And, you know, um, I, 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 <laughs> my coping way, I look at it as, you know, now everything I see, you know, everything, you know, he, he could be there at any moment in time. So, Obviously, it's different than the physical state, but you know you have to be open to to outside kind of thought processes, you know, rather than being very standard. So that for me, I had you know you have to open up the box and open up your your outlook and change your perspective and gain new knowledge, right? Um, and be open to that new knowledge, you know. And it it, it was interesting because as I'm thinking about all these things and I'm running. <laughs> I hear this woman on this hill and she starts screaming at the top of her lungs, screaming. And I look at her and I, and I was worried at first. <laughs> I was, that's my son. I was worried at first because the way that she was screaming, you know, it sounded like maybe she was hurt. No, she was screaming and she was thanking Jesus. Now everybody has, you know, different spirituality, different types of uh, religion or whatever different beliefs but for her this is what she believed she was screaming thank you Jesus thank you for my this and she started you know praising him and you know all that kind of stuff and for her that was her release right and for her I mean she's screaming on this hill you know <laughs> screaming but I bet you I guarantee I bet money that the woman felt really good and very very fulfilled and very very uh you know released free a, a sense of freedom when she did that so you know again I, I want you to try to change your perspective of things in your life whether they're hard whether they're difficult whether they're sad uh, change your perspective and try to find a way that it can either teach you something new open your mind to new knowledge open your mind to new perspective um, <clears throat> and better yourself as an individual physically mentally or emotionally um, and obviously, I added, you know, uh, these other two things because they go along with it, right? Obviously, health is important. So, so the idea of looking at positive, looking at things positively or with a different perspective, um, is going to allow you to benefit your health, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Because if you change your perspective and you look positively at things rather than negatively, you're bringing a whole new energy around you in, in your life. 
But the reason that number two is here is because if you don't have good support, if you don't have positive people around you, then it's a constant battle of, of um, you know, fighting you know, this, this negative uh, energy and you're trying to be positive, you're trying to open your outlook and then you have to battle this constant, you know, whatever it is in your ear, in your head, which is always going to affect you. And if you don't have support of the people around you, then you need to change the people around you, um, your environment. And you know, some of you will agree and disagree and that's okay. But I, I believe that in order to change your perspective on things and in order to gain new knowledge and in order to use that to benefit yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally, you have to have people around you to support that. So if you have people around you that do not, you might need to change the people around you. There's always someone around you. There's always someone that is going to love you, okay? Some of us, we feel that you know it's very easy to feel alone in the world it's very easy to feel like there's no but there is always someone that's going to be there for you and this is part of the reason why some of us do these youtube channels because we want you to feel like there is someone that does care and and there's you know only certain ways that you could you know reach out to a a number of individuals so again i want you to take away look for the positive change your perspective of everything in your life you know, if you go negative, if you go frustration, if you go stress, then change your perspective and go, hey, how can I look at this as beneficial to me? How can I look at this as a learning experience to me? Um, how can I look at this and change this so that I can benefit myself in, in such a way with my health, mentally, physically, or, or emotionally? Um, and then, you know, in order to continue that journey, you want to have people who will support you around you. So I wanted to get that message out. I hope I got it across the right way because sometimes you think about it, right, in your, in your head, and I'm running, like I said, this was a, a lot earlier. <clears throat> Hopefully I got it across the way that I wanted to. So anyway, give me feedback at all or anything you guys want to say, you can comment below, let me know. Um, but I hope that you heard my message and I hope that it helps you because it can it could really change, it could change your life. So, all right. <laughs>